Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky asserted that a Russian assault on his nation's energy sector targeted gas facilities that play a role in securing important EU supply. Currently, Russia supplies gas to the EU through Ukraine as part of a transit agreement with Gazprom, which is a Russian-majority state-owned energy corporation set to expire in December. Last month, Ukraine's energy minister stated that Kyiv had no intentions of renewing or substituting the agreement with Moscow, which involves payment to Ukraine for gas transit to the EU. Zelensky, in a nightly video address, emphasized that the attack primarily targeted energy-related infrastructure, including both electricity and gas transit facilities, especially those vital for safe gas delivery to the EU. Amid his international efforts to secure defensive weaponry, Zelensky mentioned that Ukrainian forces successfully intercepted some of the 34 Russian missiles of varying types. However, he did not specify the exact targets of the attack or whether any missiles hit their intended objectives. Naftagaz, Ukraine's state-owned oil and gas company, confirmed that Russian forces targeted its facilities, but assured that there were no casualties and that supplies to Ukrainian consumers and clients remained unaffected. A governor of the Lviv region bordering Poland reported strikes during the missile assault, including attacks with Cruise and Kinzhal hypersonic missiles, with three missiles being intercepted by Ukrainian forces. The governor also noted damage and fires at two critical energy infrastructure sites in the Stry and Chervonarad districts, which were swiftly extinguished by emergency services. Zelensky reiterated his call for defensive missile systems, particularly Patriot systems, stressing Ukraine's need for at least seven such systems. He remarked that the missile trajectories and attack strategies were designed by Russian forces to challenge Ukraine's air defense systems, making each intercepted rocket a significant achievement. Zelensky's plea highlights the critical role defensive weaponry plays in Ukraine's ability to defend against incursions. Efforts to bolster Ukraine's defensive capabilities are seen by the West as vital and continued efforts are made which includes funding and weaponry. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and be sure to take a moment to subscribe.